Hi everyone, I've been asked how I'm doing this uh, glue gun tree or specifically how I did the spray that uh, you have two colors and more dimensionality and I the last time when I've done this page and I will leave a link below to this uh, uh, tutorial uh, I've done of course the spray outside it's not uh, great to do it inside but I will try today to demonstrate how to do it here and I will uh, will start with moving this aside and just to recap uh, to do the tree I'm just taking a baking sheet or a parchment paper I'm doing the design on the paper and then I go with the glue gun uh, over the, the, the design like I can take I, it doesn't have to be a tree I can take a, any kind of element like a, this trace it on the paper and then go with the glue gun and just fill in where it's supposed to be like so and if I feel I don't have enough I just go over it again and put more glue where I want it and of course with the tree it's uh, it's more um, dimensional when you do more layers so uh, I've al already got a tree here I hope you can see it. it's not a uh, lot visible and I'm after uh, this is a uh, dry I'm removing uh, all the little strings most of the time I will just use some kind of a brush with hard bristles and sometimes I will uh, just a uh, take my heat gun and from uh, a lot farther not don't go near or you will melt what you have so uh, that's how I get uh, rid of the little strings that uh, you have now uh, for the spring I'm moving this uh, aside and I'm putting this uh, just so I will have a better way to spray usually I will put something uh, flat on top of this you need uh, it to be a little bit elevated so you can work with the spray can and I'm picking I've got here a black spray can and I'm thinking the, what color do I want and I'm uh, going with this uh, light blue so first of all I will go for complete coverage with the black so this now uh, it's better to remove uh, whatever you made like the tree and put it on some uh, uh, large cardboard but uh, I don't have a lot of room here on my table so that's how I'm going to do it uh, when it's uh, still on the uh, baking sheet or parchment paper so this and uh, now is just spraying it N nothing to it it doesn't matter the angle just make sure you got complete coverage and that's why I like it elevated because I can put the can spray in an angle and I can uh, move it around if you are doing it inside put on a mask it's better okay so this needs to dry before we are going and adding another um, color and I will just spray this also just so we will see and now we just have to wait for this to dry and then we'll continue I'll be back 
I'm back. So now you need to decide where do you want your hollow lights, where the source of light is coming, if I can explain it like that. And if I decide that I want my highlights from here, then I'm uh, moving this around. Here is my paint, uh, paint can, the light blue. And now I will almost make it, uh, I hope you can see, not from above, from this side, like this. And that's how you do it. Now I'm moving this and we've got this one and let's see. And it doesn't have to be white and it doesn't have to be a light blue. You can also do other effects like I can take the gold and again, sorry for the noise. And again, I'm uh, almost uh, at the same level as my object and I'm spraying it like this. So now I've got black and gold on the same element and look what a lovely effect you have. So this, that's it. Now, when of course everything is uh, dry, you peel it if you haven't peeled it uh, before now you uh, you you peel it from your uh, baking sheet or parchment paper whatever you are doing and it's still a little bit wet but still I'll take it out just so you will see well it's sticky Still wet, as I said. Yeah. That's why it's better to peel it first and then spray it on another uh, surface. Here it is. And one of the branches just broke. It doesn't matter. So this tree. I'm moving this aside. This tree is going. I took an embroidery hoop and made this on rice paper. Uh, just spread it. Uh, used some stamps here in the background, and this is mulberry paper. And it's going to be glued to the hoop and, of course, trimmed. And here is going to be my tree and of course I need to fix this what's uh, great about this uh, glue gun uh, tree is that if I've got more strings I can take uh, like nail scissors and I can trim whatever I don't like like here I've got uh, this I don't like this I don't like this I need to fix and of course uh, if you have a, a section like I have here that is not completely uh, in place you can go in again with a glue gun put more glue and spray it again so basically this is it that's how I do the spray on the glue gun tree and that's it I hope uh, you understood now and GB that uh, asked for this uh, tutorial and I hope uh, you will try your hand at it thank you for watching and thank you for leaving me comments below I'll be seeing you in my next video bye for now